Okay, Finch Farm. You're back, huh? That bastard son of mine, Jake, snuck out in the middle of the night to join him. He grabbed my granddad's old sword. It's the closest thing I've got to an heirloom. I don't guess you'd be crazy enough to try and get it back for me. I've got caps, if that's what you want. Can I blag him? Industrial buildings like that are pretty dangerous. You know, you've got some nerve. What? I'm just a hard-working man trying to feed my family. 150 caps. Take it or leave it. I'll find it. You're doing me a big favor. And I'll make it up to you as best as I can. I heard you talking with Abraham. Did he even mention our son? Yeah, he just ripped me off. I wasn't listening that closely to his rambling. Yeah, that sounds like Abe. The two of them were at it again. And Jake must have taken off to that ironworks like he was going on about. Don't bring it up to Abraham. But if you find my boy, you bring him home. I'll get the two of them sorted out. Okay, let's try and get both. That's our mission. This must be it. Jesus. Guys are hardcore. God for that. Way too many Molotovs. Come on, girl, keep up.
gonna rip your limbs off. We've got to do this more often. Watch your back, Kate. Someone or something. Gotta be something about it. Always got to be the comedian. Have at it. I never liked messing with this technical crap. I might be able to get that open. Just saying. Well, that's bullshit. Yo, psst. Need Take something? a look. Not gonna happen. Exactly. should have gone off. Lucky me. I'm never gonna forget. Oh, 
show a girl. All like right. Come on, Kate. Help! If he tries to leave, kill him. You must be pretty strong to make it here. Oh, were those your guys? I thought they were just trying to throw me a barbecue. Huh? <laughs> like your style, stranger. Been a while since anyone had the guts to talk to me like that. See, Jake? Here's someone who might actually be worth my time. Unlike you. But, You're gonna kill me. But I brought everything you asked for. Stealing things from your family farm doesn't prove your strength, boy. Though this wonderful sword you brought does put me in the mood to give you one last chance to prove your worth. What do you say? Kill that prisoner and prove that you aren't completely useless. You said we'd be raiding outside the Commonwealth. These people aren't even a threat to us. Prove to me that you can kill! Him or you? Oh God! What do I do? What do I do? Walk away, Jake. You don't have to do this. Please let me go. You're right. I don't want to do this. I don't want to join the forge. I just want to go home. Last oh, chance. Oh, Link. You got a can opener. Don't kill the prisoner before I count to three. Well, it's over. One. Help. Two. Three. What? Get the flamethrower. You did the right thing, mate. Excuse me. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. I, I messed up. I panicked. What were you doing with those guys, anyway? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, well. Just... I thought we'd be raiding outside of the Commonwealth, and that if I joined them, I could provide for my family. I don't know. God, my dad's right. I'm such an idiot. Look, I, I should probably try to go home and make amends. I know I've got no right to ask, but I bet if you're there to explain, things with my dad would go easier. 
I bet if you bring my great granddad's sword, he he'll make it worth your while. He always tries to deal fair with people. I'll wait for you by the overpass near the farm. Everything is a trade, mate. Thanks a lot. I'm getting out of here. I'm so nervous. I, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Here goes nothing. Just say you're sorry. Job done. What the? Boy, I told you that Abraham, if you showed your face here again, Is I... Is that my boy come home? What? Jake's back? Oh, thank God. Papa, please. I, I know I screwed up pretty big. I, I thought if I joined up, I could keep them from raiding our farm. Hey, what you need over to... here. No problem. I don't want to hurt anybody. I don't care what you thought. I told you. Abraham Francis Finch, that's enough. Mama, if... Shut up, Jake. If I hear anything out of either of you, you'll both be peeling potatoes for the next year. I've watched you two go at it for years and tried to let you sort it out for yourselves. Abraham, your son is a grown man. And if you expect him to act like one, then you'd better stop treating him like a child. Jake, your father and I have been out there, and we know it can be dangerous. We just want to make sure you're prepared. There, it's over. And if I hear another word about it from either of you, so help me. If you want to help out, Abraham. make some ears She's of corn. right, I've been a fool. There's no way I can thank you enough. Here's something for your help. I think you should hang on to that sword. It'd put a smile on Granddad's face to know it was being used to help people. Can't believe what a damn fool I've been. Oh, nice. That is awesome. 